All right, guys, here we go. Real quick, we were getting a lot of requests for uh, charts on gold, silver, and oil. We'll start off with oil here. And we went in, uh, by our measure move, we went in and took a long on oil, uh, the micro futures, West Texas Intermediate, Friday. And we were in this uh, down uh, wedge formation, descending wedge formation, number one, number two. With a uh, strong time count on the red candles, of course. Uh, number three, we had a measured move here, that green dash line that's uh, talked about in our uh, micro futures course below trading course that tells you everything uh, that we're going to be going over here, but in greater detail. So anyway, we want you want two or more factors, two or more reasons for your thesis in order to uh, go into a play either to the upside going long or to the downside going short. Now here's uh, gold, for example. And what we did, uh, speaking of those measured moves, most times uh, the trend will, there'll be three legs within the trend, three legs within the hoe process. So we had an, a one uh, move to the upside, a shallow pullback, and then an extension, okay? And this is real easy to do. You just measure the first leg up. That was about 10.77. Had your minor shallow pullback. And then we put a measure move here, which was pretty much the same as the previous one. That's where we went short. Uh, when we started going below our measure move over here where the green dash line is, okay? And we, you know, like I was saying, all this is explained plus a whole lot more in the micro futures uh, course below. But anyway, uh, pretty good little, uh, you know, move right there for us to the downside. Now, we already have, uh, you know, the uh, particular support level pinned out and we'll be, you know, addressing that going long when we hit that uh, stage here coming soon. Let's look at uh, silver real quick. And we had uh, several factors together showing us that the move up here at the top, as you can see, so we're about between gold and silver, uh, we're a little over, you know, 18,000 to the good right now, uh, going on one, two, three, four, five days within a week, okay, of the futures uh, market rating. And I'll go ahead and tell you the secret up here. We basically uh, just came over here. Uh, had a high pivot resistance. It's just pivots are just a 180 basically right here. I uh, had a wick into that zone, which was uh, again resistance, resistance, resistance. So we were hitting that area and we had a couple other factors uh, on our side there. Again, you know, uh, in the 50% off uh, right now through the first of the year, uh, course below telling you how to do that. But uh, we believe uh, silver is going to make an epic move to the upside. And as you can see right here, uh, we're able to control. Now, we have three ounces. We're just dealing with three ounces of silver and uh, for about six grand. And that's uh, each one of them uh, is 3,000 ounces of silver. And uh, each ounce, 1,000 apiece, is a contract, okay? So you can just, you know... Uh, do some math with that. I don't think you can buy physical silver anywhere in the world for, you know, get 3,000 ounces of it for a little over six grand. If you can, let me know and I'll be the first to jump in there. So little seekers at Wall Street knows that they don't want you to know, but it's all, all in the course below. Uh, but in the meantime, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we will see you on the charts.